were safety updates. The ride sharing company says drivers will soon have annual criminal background checks. WJZ is live. Avadroy Burnett tells us Uber has been under intense pressure to make some changes after drivers were accused of serious crimes like sexual assault. Avadroy? Well, Mary, you mentioned assault. While well, there was a driver here in Maryland who was accused of kidnapping one of his customers, so these annual background checks will take us one step closer to towards redemption for the company. Uber announces plans to track exactly who is behind the wheel. Drivers will soon undergo a criminal background check every year. Uber says it's also hired a second company to continuously check drivers' arrest records. I think that's probably pretty good, seeing as they've had, I know they've had a lot of issues in the past couple of years. Those issues include serious allegations. A driver in Maryland was accused of kidnapping his passenger, then allegedly assaulting her in a Prince George's County motel room. And last year, Colorado slapped an $8.9 million fine on the company for allowing people with tarnished records to drive. The ride hailing company says it's currently working on a program where customers can call for help from within the app once they step inside a car. That feature is expected to alert emergency dispatchers on the driver and their car information. Rob Weinhold, a crisis management expert, says Uber has no choice but to shell out money for these safety upgrades. But what's the alternative not to do it? Absolutely not. You must put the right systems, the policies, the protocols, the background checks in place because you have an inherent responsibility to protect your customer. This driver welcomes the change. They should have been did it, but, you know, it's a lot of crazy people in the world, but it's a good thing to do. For a company that boasts 50 million trips every day around the world, the real test will be with customer service, and at least one person isn't buying it. I mean, really, with Uber, good chance it's a PR stunt. And to put this all into perspective for you, Uber says it has 60,000 employees, and last year they had 4 billion rides around the, around the world. That's billion with a B. So keeping tabs on all of their employees really could be a challenge. Reporting live tonight, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ. Avajoy, thank you. Uber says it will roll out the changes over the next several weeks.